All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we are checking out some more Beatles. We are continuing our Beatles journey. Yeah. And the song we're going to be checking out today is called Strawberry Fields Forever. Oh, yes. you know what's interesting about that? What? Coldplay has a song called Strawberry Fields. Oh, really? Now, yeah. I think on our last video, you said that the lead singer of Coldplay, he sounded just like uh, John Lennon. Or they sounded, he, he, he was influenced by his singing style. Definitely. If you hear him sing, mm. definitely. Okay. All right. Interesting. Now, um, yeah, we do have a few Beatles songs under our belt. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited to see where, where this, uh, this band is going with their sound. So I'm not too sure where this song falls in their catalog, but let's go ahead and check it out. And uh, I guess let's, let's see if you can guess the time period for when this dropped. Anyway. Uh uh, and then Google it so we can be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we we'll know. Google it just to be sure. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and jump into it once again. This is Strawberry Fields Forever. Let's go. Let me take you down because I'm going to Strawberry Fields. Oh, my God. All right. Right off the bat. We're only 28 seconds in. Guys, I am sorry for pausing this, but what kind of vibe are you getting from this? 70s. All right. I'm getting kind of like the 70s, maybe late 60s, mm -hmm. but this feels like Pink Floyd. Oh. oh. This feels like Pink Floyd. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, I'm going to take it back a couple of seconds. Let's get back into this. No more pausing, y'all. Nothing is real. All right, so this is Strawberry Fields Forever. Uh, I believe it said that this song came out in 1967. Okay. So this was like in the height of, I guess, like the psychedelic era of rock and roll. Okay. Because um, that's what this song feels like. It feels very psychedelic. I think this was probably the beginning of the psychedelic era. Oh, yeah? In the 60s. Yeah the late 60s mm -hmm. and i'm curious maybe they're the ones who kicked it off yeah you know, maybe I, so I don't know people have told us how influential they've been yeah for so many bands in different genres um because people have informed us in the comments that the beatles have recorded over 200 songs right and they don't have one sound okay and i think yeah. because of that that's why they're so influential right yeah because they didn't stay in one box yes exactly and as you guys if you guys have been following our journey with the beatles music each song that we've heard so far it, it, like has not sounded like the previous song right everything <laughs> sounds so different mm -hmm. because even with this track there's so many different elements and so many different instruments that they're using and it's kind of like, you know, in, in my brain, I'm trying to compartmentalize what style it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is the first time that I've heard them play this particular style, which I feel like it's psychedelic rock. I think every time we listen to the Beatles, it's going to be like listening to them for the first time. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. That's the experience we're gonna. Yeah, get. you know because, because I, and yeah. I think you need to stop thinking about it so hard or yeah, trying to compartmentalize right. I, I, I can't help it, but yeah. <laughs> you know, I I can't help it only because we're listening to the Beatles after the fact, and it's kind of like if we were growing up during this era mm -hmm. and you heard it, it would have been like nothing you've heard before. You, I mean, you, it's still nothing. Like even though people are influenced by them, yeah. Um, for me, it's still different. Okay. You know? Well, I'll say it like this. It's hard for me to put in a position, be put in a position of, I never heard something like this before because mm -hmm. right off the bat, when I hear this, you heard it, Pink I heard Pink Floyd. Yeah. And then in the previous song we listened to, Don't Let Me Down, I'm like, oh, I hear Prince. And so I can hear all the artists who have been influenced, influenced by, by them. them. Right, yeah. right, right. Versus but it's still, it's, mm, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it's, it's it's hard to be like, oh, I've never heard this style right. before, and I'm not saying that the styles are new to me, right? Um, because like you, I do see the influences because like I 
like from the previous song, I was like, whoa, Coldplay was definitely okay. influenced yeah. by them. But they did it in such a way right. where I love people were influenced but didn't copy. Oh, yeah. And that's where oh, I'm coming from. Because yes. if you see people who were yes. inspired by Michael Jackson, right. it's just yeah. a carbon copy. Yeah. They don't okay. change it. Right. It's just like the same thing. Right, right, And right. that's what I meant by that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I definitely feel you on that. So this was a great track. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can imagine... When this came out, people was popping LSD and getting high and smoking their marijuana <laughs> right. and everything. Or, or they was just enjoying the music. You know, this says <laughs> the says magical mystery tour. Look, and so look though, look maybe. Oh, uh, uh, no way. Love no didn't way. Didn't involve no. all of that. That's sometime. what it was. That's what it was all about. That's what it was about. Getting your acid at LSD. Look at the Not colors on everybody. here. Look at the colors on here. I know. They were, it's fun. Right, I, yeah, exactly. To me, it's like I'll pop some Skittles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, look at, but look at that. Look at the cover. I see it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, come on, join <laughs> us. <laughs> Do drugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, well. guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Just let say us no. know. Just Look, say no. Yeah, just say no. Don't do it. But let us know in the comment section if you got some stories. Because I know y'all got some stories. <laughs> and we want to hear them. So like, share, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time for our next Beatles video. Peace.